We start today with that baseball game brawl. Jonathan Henderson of Fort Payne is charged with two counts of second degree assault. Officials say he punched two youth league umpires in the face at a game in Pisgah last night. Way 31's Xavier Wary joins us live now after speaking with the sheriff's office and a Parks and Rec representative about that altercation. Yeah, hey, Dan. So the chief deputy at the Jackson County Sheriff's Office says they received multiple calls about a crowd here at this very ballpark saying that they were absolutely out of control and that authorities were needed immediately. Now, I also spoke with a representative from the Parks and Rec Department who wished to remain anonymous, but he tells me he's in utter disbelief that this ever could happen. He states that it is typical for parents to get a little chirpy with officials, but once the game is over, everyone normally gets in their cars and they just go their separate ways. He also says that the umpires who were involved in the altercation, well, they have a history of always showing respect. And the Jackson County Chief Deputy Rocky Harnon says that this altercation between Henderson and the two umpires ages 18 and 21 is still under investigation and that they don't know what exactly caused this assault. The umpires had were hit in the face and I think one might have been kneed in the ribs. Uh, there was no major uh, injuries as a result of it. So generally it would be a misdemeanor assault, but since it was on an umpire doing his job, it drops, it brings it up to a felony. Now, according to reports, Deputy Harnon says Henderson was coaching at the time of his assault and Deputy Harnon was clear in stating that this is still under investigation and says if you were here at the ballpark last night and if you saw something, just go ahead and contact the Jackson County Sheriff's Office immediately. And I also asked that Parks and Rec representative if there are going to be any new rule changes coming. He says that before each and every ball game, they will address the parents in the crowd to let them know that no vulgar language will be tolerated and that they cannot direct any type of communication towards any official. And if they do violate that rule, well, they will be escorted from this very ballpark immediately. For now, we are live in Jackson County. Xavier Wary, Way 31 News.